My name is Roger Smith. I'm a retired consultant physician in geriatric medicine in Edinburgh here. I've been director of studies of the course since 1980. As well as the educational part of the course, we have a social part which includes the medical walk and a dinner because it is important that the participants are able to socialise with each other outside the academic part. Initially it was a walk, but more recently we have decided to go by bus, which allows us to take in more of the historical places and to tell you a bit more about the wealth of medical knowledge in Edinburgh. Around 1800s there were two schools of anatomy. At that time there were something like 500 medical students. So the anatomists required quite a lot of bodies for the anatomy lectures. Now the easiest way to get a body in these days was to take one that was already in the ground. And this was the start of the grave robbers. It was a very lucrative business because you got anything between 7 and 17 pounds a body, which in these days was a lot of money. The medical walk includes visiting a number of places of great interest, including James Young Simpson's house, where the first use of chloroform was carried out, the house where Robert Philip, who was instrumental in improving tuberculosis care, women in medicine, including Sophia Jex Blake and Elsie Ingalls, and also many of the hospitals which started off as poor law hospitals run by the local authorities but were taken over into the National Health Service in 1948. I'm standing on the place where the public gallows used to be. And there is a story about a Maggie Dixon whose name you will see on the pub over there. She was accused of murdering a child and was sentenced to death by hanging. And after she had been certified as dead, she, her body was cut down and given to her family. The family put her body on a cart and took her down the cobbles and would you believe it, she started to breathe again. And I'd like to suggest that this is one of the first recorded cases of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. <laughs>